WebRTC. It stands for Web Real-Time Communications, and it's a way to communicate browser to browser. So it's all integrated into the browser. So there's a lot of implications uh, if that's successful. Now you could always communicate browser to browser. You can make a phone call, but you need these adjunct systems. They needed to build build other things. But now you can do that. You get if you get a um, a Chrome browser. Uh, when it when it's ready and someone else has a Chrome browser, you just can call them. Like there's no other stuff you have to do, right? And so Java developers or people like that, they can make applications real easy. So it, you know, it's just an easy way to communicate. It's like OTT kind of finally coming, you know, uh, to the fore. You're talking about all people with browsers on their phones, on their PCs, laptops, things like that. They could potentially make a WebRTC call. Uh, within the year. And that's huge if people just, they could just stop using their phones, right? And so it's a huge impact. That's why it's really super disruptive. People can make money, you know, they can monetize it in various ways. You could you could charge for like uh, value-added services on top of it. So maybe the phone call's free, but what if you want to do something else related to it? Like uh, show a video or something, you know, whatever. There's tons of things that I'm not smart enough to think about. But in, a, in some way, they're a value-added service. And that's how people can make money. And that's why the, the telcos or carriers are interested. Maybe they can see, hey, they're not just a dumb pipe now. I can finally add value-added services myself. And that's why they're interested in it. It's a way to communicate better using OTT. Uh, so they could look at it like a threat. But if they integrate it properly, it could be it could be a way for them to counter an OTT, counter somebody like Skype or something like that. So everyone's trying to figure out what it means to them. All these things. Uh, they take time. They take longer time to develop than, than you think. Like IMS finally now is kind of really driving, taking 10 years. So WebRTC will take a long time, even if you have all these enabled browsers.